So for individuals who are in the early stages, you might want to increase the intensity of this workout by also adding a stability cushion that looks like this. Purchase one on Amazon. What this will do is this will increase the work in your abdominal wall. And so if you're in the early stages, you'll probably be fine to do this. And this is just a way to make sure you're also engaging the internal obliques, the TVA, the deepest layer of your core. But what I will say is when you put this this um, stability disc on a chair, make sure your feet aren't dangling in the air. So for me in this chair, I would need to put two yoga blocks under my feet and I would have to do that for all exercises so that my feet are not hovering and then I have that stability. Remember your thighs, when you're seated, shouldn't be above the bony protrusions of your hips. They should be slightly below and you want your ankles tracking under your knees and your feet solidly planted, perfectly parallel. Add this disc for any of the levels if you see fit. Grab your loop band. You're gonna bring it around your dominant leg's thigh. So typically that is the opposite leg of your dominant arm. So if you're right-handed, your left thigh, left-handed, right thigh. So you'll take the, um, you're gonna take the arm through the band and we're going to be lifting the elbow up at a nice right angle to get the back of the shoulder recruiting. So you'll take the hand, slip it into the loop band that's on the thigh, and then you'll lift the elbow up as high as the shoulder. And so it's same arm as leg, same arm as leg. Take it through, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Legs together, hip distance apart rather. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Good. Keeping the shoulders plugged down and the head center. Pelvis grounded in that chair. Inhale up and exhale down. And this is great because you don't have to use the hands to grab the band and you have those hands free to relax. And inhale, lift and exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift. Actually, let's do a couple more. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Let's keep it here. We're now going to switch to scaption, taking that arm up to a high V with the thumb pointing up to the ceiling. Same arm. Inhale it up, still in the band, and exhale it down. So V in front of you. Inhale, lift, straight arm. Exhale, down. So it's just a little outside of your shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Keep your head center. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Keep that going. Inhale and exhale watch the rib cage keep it soft inhale and exhale four more four and three sitting up on the top of the sits bones feeling your heels and your metatarsals grounded keep your focus up a little higher than eye level three and last two two and one more one, before we go to the other side, give yourself a bear hug with the arm you just used on top, crossing the body. Round your upper body forward, and you're just going to open up that serratus anterior here, allowing the shoulder blades to come apart, allowing the back of the neck to, to stretch if there was any straining in that area. Inhale and exhale, sigh, allow that air to come out, allow more space to be created in the upper back. Breathing into that, two more long inhales and exhales. And one more inhale. And exhale, we'll take that loop band around the other leg now. Once it's around the other leg, we'll begin with our lift to that right angle. Getting behind the shoulder, palm is facing down once the arm comes up and it's facing in by the body when it comes down. The elbow touches the side body. And then you inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And I want you to feel the opposition. When you inhale, lift, feel your pelvis pulling down. Exhale, lower, feel your inner thighs pulling back. Inhale, pelvis pulls down. You'll sit up taller this way on the top of the sits bones. And exhale. Five more, five. We're probably on our dominant arm now, so we don't need as many repetitions with this side. Four, plug the shoulder down three, 
Hear your breath, two, and one. Moving into scaption. Straight arm now, a little micro bend in the elbow. V position just outside of the shoulder. Arm goes forward. Inhale it up and exhale it down. Inhale, pelvis grounds down. Exhale, inner thighs pull back. Inhale, pel um, shoulders pull down. Exhale, ribs soften. Keep that going for five. And shoulders down the spine, collarbone wide. Chin up a little higher than you think. Focus up a little higher than eye level. Four more, four. Hear your breath, three. And two. Last one. And one. Just rest. You can keep that... Um, Band where it is for now, cross the hands over one another like you did. Bear hug, rounding forward that upper back, just releasing that serratus anterior. Inhaling into the upper back and exhaling to drop deeper into that fold of the upper thoracic. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and take the band around your wrist, both wrists this time. If you have a ball, you can bring it between your knees. If not, you can sit with your legs together. So squeezing that ball, engaging our adductors. With the band around our wrists, our palms can face in or up, depending on your shoulders. If you want to open the shoulders a little more, palms up. If your shoulders are pretty, if you have a pretty good opening in the front body, you can have the palms facing in. Elbows are right by the side body. We're going to work the external rotator cuff by opening the arms out to the side and then back in. And opening and trying to keep the elbows glued to the side body. Keep the head back on the spine. Soften the chest here. We're going to isolate and just do our dominant side. And on our dominant side, we're going to add lateral flexion. So we're going to exhale, pulling out as we bend and inhale, lift up. Exhale, pull out and bend. Inhale, lift up. And just do, just do your dominant side. Don't do the movement on your non-dominant side. Bend to the side and pull out. So side bending. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, side bending. Engaging now the external obliques as well as the rotator cuff, the external rotator cuff. Keep that going. Give me eight. And make sure the chest stays square to the wall in front of you, that you're not adding a twist and a bend. We want that nice side bend, shoulders plugged down. Don't drop the chin. Don't drop the eye focus. Squeeze the ball. Sit up on the top of your sits bones. Four more, four. And three. Last two, two. And one. Switching sides. Setting up in the other side, glue those elbows to the side of the body, widen the collarbone, sit up tall, and begin with your exhale as you open and bend. Inhale as the pelvis grounds down and you lift. Exhale, bend, inner thighs pull back. Inhale, pelvis pulls down as you come up. So all this energy running through the body, we shouldn't be slouching or slumping into the posture. We want to lift up and engage our lower abdominals as much as possible here. Recruit the external obliques as well as the lower pelvic floor. Four, keep breathing, and three, two more, two, and last one, one. Good, you can set that band to the side, and let's just seat it here. I want you to give me shoulder rolls back. Taking those shoulders back, the ball can stay between those inner thighs, inhale, Exhale, circle, two, three, four. Again, inhale and exhale, circle. Keep it going back, two, three, four. Two more sets, inhale, exhale, circle, two, three, four. And one more, inhale, exhale, circle, two, three, four. Grab your shoulders with your hands and circle the elbows back. Two, three, four. And notice if you do, as you do that, if the rib cage pushes out, see if you can soften those ribs down and lift the pelvic floor up 
instead. Keep going with that. Collarbone will be wide. Each inhale is a chance for the pelvis to pull down and the pelvic floor to pull up in opposition. Each exhale is a chance for the inner thighs to pull back to pull you onto the sits bones. Nice and tall. One more. And let's switch to full arm circles. Go at a very slow tempo. Back. Nice big arm circles. Opening up those shoulders. Combating kyphosis. Nice gentle active stretch for the front of the shoulders. Those overactive anterior delts. Watch out for the chin dropping. Find a focal point on the wall with your eyes a little higher than eye level and breathe into this. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Two and one. Interlace your hands behind your head. Elbows can come in towards the ears. Sitting up tall, just tuck the chin towards the chest, stretching out the back of the neck extensors. Elbows can come in. Allow gravity to assist here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, we're going to six. Inhale two. Exhale two. Sitting tall, inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale four. Exhale four. Inhale five. Exhale five. And inhale six. Exhale six. Okay, so if... Good job. 